Phone messages from pro wrestler Chris Benoit to his wife and son in the days leading up to their murder-suicide. The messages from Benoit himself, family members and friends give new insight to what happened before and after the wrestling star killed his wife and young son and then himself in their Fayette County home last June. Channel 2's Tom Regan has been reviewing those phone messages which until now have not been released to the public. He joins us from the newsroom with what he found. Tom? You know, Javita, months ago we filed a Freedom of Information request for these phone messages. It's taken this long to get them, but we finally did. They convey the uncertainty and concern of friends and relatives, and the voice of the wrestler himself. Hi, honey. Hi, Dan. Dan. Sorry, Mr. Jackson. So fun. Love you, bye. The endearing message from a father to his wife and son. One of many telephone messages, some disturbing, that investigators found in Chris Benoit's Fayette County home following the murder-suicide last June. Hey, Chris. Dan from the office, just trying to get in touch with you. It is Sunday evening, um, I think about 7 o'clock, so we're hoping everything is okay. So if you can call me on my cell phone. One message came from Benoit's seven-year-old son, Daniel, apparently directed to his father, but it's not clear when the message was left. Hi, Pooh Bear. We'll be back soon, okay? We'll just be there, okay? Since there was no suicide note, we may never know why the wrestling star murdered his family. It happened over a weekend last June when Benoit was supposed to be out of town for a wrestling match. On Sunday night, a concerned colleague calls. Hey Chris, it's Ann from the office, just trying to reach out to you. Um, give us a call when you have a chance. The next day, another worrisome call from a friend or relative. Hi Nancy, it's Marnie in Canada, just phoning to see if everything's okay, because we've heard terrible reports on the radio, so just calling to confirm. So hopefully we can talk to you soon. Bye. Well, Nancy Benoit's father also left a message after learning of the killings, pleading for any police officers in the house to call him. Her family intends to sue the WWE for responsibility in the wrestler's actions. Benoit's father claims his rampage was a result of brain damage in the ring. Live from the newsroom, Tom Regan, Channel 2 Action News.